Hello guys, Smart Paul here. Welcome back to another video. So today I wanted to make a quick video to follow up my recent tutorial uh, where I had the question about landscape scale and resolution. And I actually did a bit of research and I basically found out a pretty good scale to export or create your landscape at in World Machine to Unreal to get all the scaling and all the proportions right. That way you get, you know, the maximum amount of detail for a pretty large tile and zero scaling at all. Basically, I based off my resolution off of this boy in his kite demo. The boy in his kite demo is the old demo from 2015 when Unreal was announced that it'd be completely free to use. And it's pretty much the only demo that Epic has released that showcases an open world and uses world composition. And it's actually a pretty good example. If you guys want to download it, just go to the learn tab scroll down to the Born is Kite, and then you can just download it from there and create a project. So I have the map loaded up right here. As you can see, my frame rate isn't the best because I have the entire map loaded. If I just snap this out here, I can show you guys the map right here. So I'm gonna select this and you can see the tiles are about, I believe, four to like five-ish kilometers each tile here. Uh, ignore like the oddly shaped tiles, um, but basically uh, what I can go ahead and show you is if I just fly over here to this tile right over here, select it here, and we can actually go ahead and zoom in here and play. Okay, so now we're in the Boy and His Kite demo. As you can see, the map is massive. Okay, so I can go F11 here. If I go ahead and go into wireframe mode, basically if you look at the tile, each landscape tile right here, or each uh, vertex, is roughly the size of this character, which is good, because it allows you to have uh, a lot of control over uh, painting your materials. Like as you can see up here, uh, you can see the grass and stuff and the rocks are all painted on here. They use World Machine for this, obviously. And so if we go ahead and check out the landscape details here. You can see the component resolution. Component count is 64. Um, and our resolution of the, this one tile is 4081 by 4081. You can see the total landscapes and then the total component count. Basically, I'm going to use uh, this resolution here when exporting my landscape. And then I'm also going to use this as a reference. So a tile will be about four kilometers with a resolution of 4081. So let's go ahead and open up World Machine. I'm just going to use this default project right here, the default template. Go into our project settings, tiled build options. We're going to do a custom resolution of 4081 and then if you remember correctly I want each tile to be four kilometers by four kilometers so this means that if our total or landscape is eight kilometers then we want it to be a two by two so that four kilometers four kilometers equals eight total basically you just hit export on that and build your tile landscape I've already gone ahead and done this uh, because it does take a while since it's a 4081 resolution. So I'll, I'll go ahead and show how to import that into Unreal and show my settings with that. Okay, so I have two examples here. Um, first I have just the default landscape that I showed you that I exported. And then I also have this terrace example. If you guys want the link to download these, uh, tiles you can play around with. Um, I'll just leave the link in the description below. Okay, so if we go into import tiled landscape, select our high map files, um, go ahead and select the all the ones with the T prefix, click open. We're going to see here the import tiled landscape uh, settings. So we have our components 8x8. Sections 2x2, two two, quads 255 by 255 We'll leave that as it is. And our landscape scale, we're leaving it 100 and 100 on the X and Y. As for the Z, you have to play around with this uh, value or else your landscape will be really flat. So if you want it to be, I believe, perfectly 
be same as your world machine. You're going to scale the Z into 400. Now this is pretty extreme. You might want to just play around with your height in world machine. The quick adjust vertical scale or the actual uh, future scale of your advanced Perlin, like if you want hills. That way, you know, your mountains aren't massive. But for now, we're just going to use 400. Okay, and we just hit import. Okay, and then we have our landscapes here. We'll go ahead, select those, and load those. Okay, so if we zoom out here, you can see our landscape looks pretty much identical to the one that we had in World Machine here. Uh, so if you see here in my World Composition tab, you can see the scale of one tile is four kilometers, meaning that our scale here again was two by two, which means that one tile here is four kilometers because our overall is eight kilometers. So you can see it's the same exact scale that we had in World Machine. You're going to see here that each tile here is again the same resolution that we had it uh, in the Boynus Kite. So uh, each vertice right here is about the size of the character, which is good. So this will allow for a lot of control over our painting and we didn't really play with any of the X and Y scale at all. And the overall resolution of our landscape is looking really good. Like we didn't lose any detail here. We still have the full detail of all the mountains. Now one thing I want to note is that the Z scale is like massive. Like as you can see here, our landscape is just like, is enormous really. Um, and so to kind of play with that, Basically, you're going to have to uh, play around with your scaling settings here. Uh, you're going to have to find out uh, what scale works for you and your game. So, for example, if you wanted to make things not so like massive as they are in here, you can go ahead and knock down your uh, scale of your advanced Perlin to hills, you know. We'll actually make these uh, basic or billowy. And then you can also play around with your general setup, your quick adjust vertical scale. And of course you can always play with your Z scale when you import it to Unreal. But basically, this scene right here won't be, the mountains in here won't be too extremely tall. So you're just going to have to play around with this scaling in here. But generally, you can use the landscape resolution here, the 4081 per 4x4 four four kilometer tile. That's generally a good scale. And as you can see here, you're going to make a large landscape doing this. Um, cause this is just 8 kilometers right here. And this really isn't anything. It's just a, really just a single mountain. So as you can imagine, you'd make a massive map with m more mountains, like a mountain range. And yeah, so I'm going to show you another example here. Basically, this is just using the terraced height map files that I leave a link to download. As you can see here, I played with the Z scale and I made it just not as extreme, like I think 200. So it kind of seems a little bit more natural. But yeah, anyways, that's pretty much what I wanted to show. I just wanted to give an update on uh, a decent scale and some good import settings to get your landscapes in Unreal. Uh, from World Machine. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much going to be it for this video, guys. I hope you guys learned something. Stay tuned. I'm going to be making a lot more open world map tutorials and more multi-biome videos in the series. So stay tuned, guys, and I'll see you guys in the next one.